Cruz took a swing at a new $30 million project as two downtown Macon stores were demolished today. Simone Souble was there to check out the scene and shares what could soon occupy the space. This building used to be a department store starting in the 1880s. Now it's being torn down and turned into a nearly $30 million project called Neil's Lofts, soon to be the home of 95 lofts, office spaces, and local retail stores. If you put your finger in the middle of downtown, you put it on this block. Downtown Macon's Cherry Street will see lots of changes in construction over the next year. Neil's department store and Blair's furniture used to occupy the space. Neil's closed in 1993, leaving it untouched for the past 30 years. Blair's closed in 2020. The historic Macon Foundation wanted to save the buildings, but economically, nothing seemed to work out. For this block to be empty for so long has just been awful. Robo Hatcher, a Macon developer, bought the building several years ago. Hatcher wanted to help save the buildings too, but he said it would be better to build something new to improve downtown than leave it to fall apart. It'll be a, a, a large, vibrant project in the middle of downtown, and it'll fill in some places that have kind of been dead for a long time. And we think by filling those places in and creating more energy, we create more stability for the historic structures that are left here. Leon Jackson was walking around downtown and said he was shocked to see the hole in the building. He says it's fairly normal to see older buildings torn down and rebuilt downtown. I am glad that they are taking more initiative to refurbish some of our old buildings. We have plenty in town and hopefully that's going to do something very great for the downtown community visitors and the employees down here. Hatcher says Macon's future looks bright and he sees a lot of opportunities for growth. And that I think says a lot about how many people want to move into downtown and be a part of this really great place. In Macon, Simone Souble, 13 WMAZ News. Robo con uh, construction will start in 2020 and Robo Hatcher hopes to have his new lofts open in 2025.